I'm James Allen, LBZ Racing. Today with us is our uh, team and, and staff members, and we're we're at Gould Manufacturing in Twin Falls. And uh, today, Casey Gould, the owner of uh, the manufacturing facility, is going to show the kids some stuff. What are you going to show them today, Casey? Uh, I'm just going to set up a simple uh, CAD CAM program. Uh, it's going to be a uh, cover for the uh, sissy bar on the cart. Uh, something pretty simple to start with. Um, get more in depth. Probably have some more, uh, more complex projects to do. Uh, but this is pretty simple. Just to kind of move it, move it across. Now we're going to take you on a tour of Casey's facilities here, and you will see some pretty awesome machinery. Some big tools, small tools, but anything metal, this is the place to come. You, you can twist, turn, fix, anything you need metal. This guy's the man. So come with us on this tour and uh, check out his facilities. Over here, this is a, a CNC lathe. The difference is, is this part in here is, is turning and make more rounded items. Or? Yeah. Anything round, anything round. You can do a little bit of everything on these. You can make shears, you can make balls. But again, if, if this one's all computerized, so you would, you would build on, on the program on the computer what you want. And then put the piece of metal in here. So put your disc in here, and then the machine will make everything you made on the computer automatically with just a couple of pushes in the front. This, this CNC machine, you can, or you can put your, your, your chunk of metal right here. Right now he's got a part with a dune buggy in there, ready to go. And same thing, you'll build your part on a CAD program on the computer. And then uh, you can come in and you put your information in this in here. Press the start button, and this thing will just start. Switching its hands, and it might need a drill bit, it might need a cutter, it might need a graver, but this thing will and it, it switch hard. And it's cool, you guys are gonna have fun watching it. Are gone. Well, uh, what do you guys think of this idea? We can put a steel plate here, mount, we can weld some tabs right here so that way the plate can be removed and put off and on. But on this steel plate, we can put all the sponsors that everybody's sponsored the buggy build. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome, yeah. amazing. And then, because and then, uh, we have to have some kind of cover here because the belts on the motor are right there so people don't stick their hands inside there. That's why these cobwebs are where they're at now, is so people to protect people's hands, so we gotta replace it with something. So we're gonna cut this one off. And what kind of protection are we gonna put on it? We don't know yet. <laughs> Damn. What it does is it shoots little teeny glass beads at parts and objects that are high velocity that will remove paint, it will remove rust, stuff like that. So I'm going to put a, um, let's give you, does it hurt? Like, it, you won't even feel it on your hands. Oh, the thing, but you, like, these gloves are about a hundred dollars to replace. So you don't want to put the, you don't want to put that gun oh, yeah. right directly in front of it. So I'm going to put that part, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get it. It's done. Okay. The gun is where the beads are shot out of. Oh, so she's yeah. basically in there. And she's going to shoot it with that gun. 
But in order to control the gun, if you look down, there's a foot pedal there. That that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna start the, the blaster. So Rochelle, you see there's a light switch on top there? Turn that switch on. Just like paint, but it won't come off as easy as paint. It'll be on there, but it takes a lot of work to get powder off. Finished product. 